read in your bio also that your resilience and determination stem out from your mom who was mm -hmm. diagnosed with breast cancer in 2005 and great that she's now cancer free so thank god yes. i can truly relate to that story because my mom in my mom's case she battled mm. diabetes for 25 years so how did you deal with such a difficult situation at that time i think my mom she's has strong character of, of faith and you know um you know growing up as well being surrounded with positiveness and, and faith and resiliency and that's how you know my siblings as well really got that trait from her but it was just that determination she was just determined like regardless she's like you know if you know any filipino moms out there and those you are watching the filipino moms are determined i mean like they will get what they want and they're so singular focus that if they're in that if they're in that situation there's i mean like they've got it's it's different when you have like a father and a husband you know they have a different trait but with mothers like particularly my mom man she doesn't back down and through her faith and through her strength of uh, courage you know she's able to you know even though she was you know suffering or having those challenges particularly with her health she was able to still smile still able to believe and have faith that everything's going to be okay you know, and even us kids and my dad being, you know, being so, you know, and my dad being, you know, really worried about life and what's going to happen next. But us as a family, we, we, you know, not only that we prayed, but we believed. And for my mom, you know, she didn't care. Like she just was determined and to, to really see it to the end with breakthrough and victory. And I think that was her mindset, right? Her mindset was all about, I'm going to get through this. I'm going to battle this out and I'm going to be okay. And through the journey, she was able to keep that resiliency, that thickness of never giving up, never losing hope. And that's how she got her breakthrough, you know, through, through God, through her faith, but also her resiliency and determination. And that's why in anything in life, if you are struggling right now and you feel that, you know, that because you're in the situation that there's no hope, there is hope, right? And it's all about you making that and going through it. Right. Um, and I'm not being religious here or, or, or and, and, and I don't want to be religious at all. But, you know, in Psalms 23, it, it says that I walk, you know, it didn't say to the valley. It says through the valley of the shadow of death. Right. And so we're walking through this journey, but that's not the end result. Right. That outcome. And, and that's why when I look into that perspective about life and achieving goals and achieving your, your dreams and your aspirations in life. You're going to experience some toughness. You're going to experience, you know, life itself. But I want to encourage you today, tonight, or this morning, wherever you are around the world globally, is never give up, never lose hope, keep moving forward. And I'm telling you right now, not only that's going to build your resiliency, but it's going to give you that strength and character of strength, bravery, and courageousness. Wow. You're on fire, Jeff. What a wonderful, <laughs> inspiring words. <laughs> And Thanks, by the way, Scott. kudos to all the Filipino mothers out there. Kawai kawai. Yes. We have that term. Yes. Kawai kawai. Yes. <laughs> we are so blessed to have our Filipino mothers. Um, yes. I can super Very relate blessed. to that. They're just working so hard day and night. And that's why, you know, we are also so super energetic and uh, Absolutely. Yeah, inspired <laughs> because by them, yeah, of course, by what they're doing for us.